Let's talk about a Plus Smart charger from Victron. Victron also provides a charger for batteries, different type of batteries. And this one is a IP65 waterproof for 12 volt batteries and can charge up to 15 amps. It comes already with adapters. So with one of those quick connectors from Victron. So that gives you plenty of options. What I liked about the do-it-yourself chargers, the versatility which the Victron comes with and having this one gives me the ability to have an XT connector and then just having different adapters as well and just plug it in and change it, you know? And this one is set up for my MPPT charger so I can just plug it in and charge it through there. Other than that, I could just have another adapter which I don't have right now because I realized <laughs> that's the only way I charge it right now. But it would be possible just to have different connections, having clamps and then being more versatile because this this charger gives you more options like it has a range between 0 and 24 volts. So, but I don't want to talk about this one. Just want to just want to give you ideas in case you look in case you're looking for a power supply and you are not decided which power supply you want to do. So, let's dive into the app and let's dive into how to attach it to the system. I want to show it on my existing system which you can find here and right now. Okay, here we are back. But wait, before you think, oh my goodness, what's that? <laughs> I know, I know it looks messy, but uh, I'm constantly testing other stuff at the moment. And this was on my list to redo pretty soon. For now, we'll keep it like it is. Very important for you. This is the positive wire which goes to the battery, which is underneath. This here is the negative wire which goes to the battery on the other side. Currently it's on, and I wanna just attach the Victron charger. We'll use those two little friends and attach it. Since this is a system which is up and running, because this is Victron Smart Shunt, I'll put it to the load um, so it recognizes the power going back in. I'll put it in here. And here's the positive, and I'll put it over here and connect this because this goes back to the battery. And for everything else, we'll use this one. And now what I can do and will do is just plugging it in. Now what I'm doing is just connecting those two to each other. Now what we can see here, you can see which mode is in because it's a little blue. And then you can see what it's set to bulk. But at the same time, we want to know what's going on. All right. Since I also want to see what's going on, where we're at with the power. It says 13.65. It's stating that 15 amp is going in right now. 15.4. 15.5. That's pretty accurate what's going in right now. At least here. I want to see how much it is going into the battery right now because we are we were measuring at the charger. And it shows 15.1, The little variation, very little, but 50. That's what that's what goes in. Victron is a name already for you, I guess. You've seen probably a couple of videos from my end as well, so you can look them up. What's cool about this one specifically, it's a smart charger. Smart charger means it has Bluetooth. As soon as you connect it to power, you can connect your phone to it as well, which is pretty cool. So you can monitor it for one time monitoring or constantly. This one delivers up to 15 amp for 12 volt batteries. I showed you in another video up there there are options to build your own cheaper chargers and they might be even faster, but it's not waterproof. So if you're looking for a waterproof charger, it has test, bulk, absorption and float and storage. Might save you battery life in the long term. If you want to build it yourself, this unit um, can charge up to 20 amps. If you have a 12 volt battery and I want to stay with the 12 volt right now, then you can charge it way faster than with, but no waterproof. Give it a test. Let's see what the Victron charger can do for us and how consistent it is, how you can incorporate it in your Bluetooth system in your whole Victron environment. So here you can see at the moment my solar generator T box, which is the box I was talking about with the Raspberry in it. Um, but other than that, I cannot see this device because it's just connected via Bluetooth in my device list. Uh, it's only something I can see that there is some kind of charging, some current coming in. That's why we will switch back to the app, which gives me a more accurate device list at the moment. We, I want to look here at the app, what the battery charger is doing and saying. The charger is having a voltage of 30.87 and the current is 15 amps. And when you look at our smart or the smart chunt, smart chunt is basically transmitting the information which you can 
see in the app and see here it's pretty much the same and it states 195 watts coming in and 195 basically the 30.61 volts times 14.3 amp that's where you get the number of 194 or around 195 and that's a very nice thing that the smart charm smart batteries battery protect and the raspberry pi all those four components they are connected to each other because they are in the same network so the raspberry pi for example has a connection a straight connection to the smart shunt with a cable that's plugs in that plugs in with the usb smart battery is connected via network so when you click on smart battery for example and i want to click on the settings and then we see a v smart network and we click on it then we see where the information of this smart battery goes to transmitting battery voltage and temperature sense in range for this device and then it shows you it's connected to the smart chart so that's pretty cool that's what i like but the battery charger when you click on this one does not come with that function it just has the bluetooth connection for the app and the phone what i have here so when i click up here we have options but we do not have the option to connect it like a network so let's say for example we want to see what functions do we have we have a charger function and a power supply function that's what i was talking about earlier we can have it as a continuous um, power supply if we want to we have different settings we can uh, like the charge presets we can pick we can have charge current but we can also go into into the advanced settings when i click on it yes we know what it, what we're doing then we click on advanced battery settings and we have multiple other battery presets i mean one for example like lithium ion phosphate click on it whoop and now it changed everything and it's pretty nice so now it really knows what's happening but i could go, go from there obviously to other presets change preset information i could um, make sure that there's a temperature compensation so i'm going back here but we can see more information about the battery charger like the craft uh, what's happening next in which current state it is and also a history about what did it already charge and also the trend and uh, sorry and also, also the totals what happens uh, and also the totals of this charger already cycle start and stuff like that so What about we use this power supply and see what the app is telling us in terms of accuracy just to compare those two a little bit more and see what we can get out of it turn it on we'll plug it in and get some power going in there and i want to have to max up should be about 20 amps. So let's see. Thirteen point seven four. So when we look at the app, it's thirteen seven two. This should be the same. Now we've seen a little more about the product from Victron which as always just works great in their own environment with Bluetooth with uh, even in the app you can see what's coming in what's going out and you can change some settings according to your battery type which is amazing and that's what makes Victron really big and really good as a product when you want to buy something it also feels very solidly built good build quality but I also wanted to show you what's possible if you want to just you know build it yourself want to just save some money because you don't need maybe the waterproof fact also remember I I'm not an expert I'm just you know try to do stuff try to figure things out on my own and work with me work through so if there's any comment from your side please feel free to leave in the comments teach me or show me what I'm doing wrong prove me when I'm right no idea the way around prove me when I'm wrong but anyways um, I'm, ju I'm just learning on the path and going forward so uh, if you have any questions please feel free to leave some comments subscribe to the channel in case you like those videos and want to see more and also send me some ideas in case you want to see something different or maybe something similar thanks for watching tschüss